Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mr. Brandon, and I work at the Erlinger Branch of the Canton County Public Library. You typically see me back in the Stream Center, so if you come visit us and print out posters, make something on a 3D printer, or even play with the dashes and Legos. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn a regular old toilet paper tube into a fun little robot puppet. So let's get started. So what we're going to need first are some toilet paper tubes, if you want to make more than one, and we need some different colored construction paper. Or if you just have one color, you can just draw on it. It's okay. So what we're going to do is we need some tape or glue to make them stick together. I'm going to be using tape, but you can use a glue stick or a glue bottle, whatever you have at home works best. So what we're going to do is start with our toilet paper tube. We're going to go ahead and lay him out. And I'm going to make a purple robot. So we're going to lay our purple construction paper down right here. We're going to set them on there. And I am going to put a little bit of tape on him, just like this, right across there. Or you would be gluing it right across there. So we want to make sure he's good and stuck on there. Now comes the easy part. We are just going to roll that right on there. Very easy. Very fun. And then we are going to get another piece of tape. And we're going to tape this up. And this is going to be the back of our robot. So nobody's going to see this tape. This front's going to be right here. Now, our next step is to make some arms. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to make him some red arms. So I'm just going to cut a small little piece of red paper out, just like that. And I want him to have two arms, so we're going to cut another piece out. There we go. So what we're going to do is I want them to be the same size, so I need to cut them down just a little bit. So they are different sizes right now. And if they're different sizes, that's okay. So. Next, I want to draw on his arms. I'm going to put some little squiggles on here just to make them extra fun. So we're going to take my marker and we're just going to squiggle on there however we want to. You can draw whatever you want. I'm just going to put some squiggles on there, make it nice and fun. And there we go. All done. Now what we want to do is we want to bunch up his arms like this. See how they kind of spring out, make them look really fun. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our little piece of paper that we've drawn on and we are just going to kind of fold it back and forth. Just like this. So we're going to fold it one way and then fold it back the other way like a zigzag kind of. Just like this. One left, right, left, right. And when I bunch them all up and let them go, he's got little springy arms. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this arm on my robot. I'm going to get myself a little piece of tape, or you could be using glue, whichever you have at home. And we're going to go ahead and stick this right on there. And you can stick it wherever you want to. Wherever you feel like having your robot's arms. He will look just fine. And just like that. The robot has one arm. So we're going to go ahead and fold the other piece. Get him ready. Just like that. So now, we're going to take this arm and tape that on him. Take our tape, stick it on the top of the arm, and stick it right on our robot. Just like that. So now we've got both arms ready to go. Our next step is going to be to make his face. 
Now, for most folks, it's going to be easiest if you just draw his mouth, because getting paper very thin is very hard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab one of our markers, and we are going to draw whatever mouth we want on there. If you want him to be happy robot, grumpy robot, or laughing robot, you can do whatever you want to. It's very fun. So I'm going to have my robot be a smiley robot. Just like that. Draw a little mouth. It's very fun. All right, so we're going to set that down. Now, we're going to make some eyeballs. And if you have googly eyes at home, you can use googly eyes. But if you don't have googly eyes, I'm going to show you how to make some. So we're just going to make some regular old paper eyeballs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another color of construction paper. And we're just going to cut out a small little section. And we're just going to cut out some little circles. Just like that. So I cut them into squares. And then just cut them into circles so that they match. And if you need help from a grown-up with the scissors, that's okay. All right. Here we go. And they're not perfect circles, and that's okay. That's just fine. So we're going to go ahead and set those there. And we're going to draw a little circle for the pupil. And there we go. So now I have two little robot eyes. Now for this, I'm going to use tape. Or you can use a glue stick, like I said. Whichever one you have at home is fine. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to fold my tape up. And I'm going to put it on the back of the eyeball. You can put glue on the back of your eyeball, whichever works. And I'm going to stick that right on my robot. Right now I've got one eyeball. He's a Cyclops robot. I'm going to go ahead and put the other eyeball on there. If you want a one-eyed robot, you can go ahead and leave him as it is. But I want my robot to have two eyeballs. If you want your robot to have one big eye, totally fine. We're going to go ahead and set this on there with the tape or the glue. And there we go. And we're almost done. So for our next step, if you want to put something on his stomach, like a little set of buttons or a little radar, you can put them on there, just like this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more construction paper, and I'm going to cut out just a small little rectangle doesn't have to be very big. And then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw whatever I want. If I want to have some buttons on this front, maybe a little squiggly mark, whatever you want. And there we go. So this is my little robot stomach. I'm going to get some more tape. And again, you can be doing this with a glue stick, it's okay. We're going to put the glue or tape on the back. And then we are going to stick that right on his tummy. Just like that. And now we only have one more thing to go. Any good robot needs an antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some more of our purple construction paper. And we're going to cut out a very thin little piece, because this is going to go on top of his head. So there's my little thin piece. And I'm going to take some other construction paper, and we're going to cut this into a little circle to make a dot. If you want to make your antenna a square, or a triangle, or any other kind of shape, it's fine your robot. You can make them however you want to. So now I'm going to use some tape to stick my shape to my long piece. So it should look just like this. And we are going to stick that right on there. So your long piece should hold up your shape. 
Just like that. And then all we have to do is take our long piece and put it down our robot's back. Just like that. And just like that, you have turned an ordinary toilet tube paper tube into a fun little robot. Join us next week when we're going to have another librarian show us a different craft. Have fun, guys.